think I'd pick the busiest time of the day to do this video. Day three. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. You didn't misread that title and it is not clickbait. My husband and I paid off our 15 year mortgage in seven and a half years doing the Dave Ramsey plan. So to celebrate, I thought what better way than to come on YouTube and share it with you guys to give you some encouragement and kind of go over a couple things that we did along the way to help us reach this goal. One of the things that we took into consideration that Dave does recommend is that all of the profit made in real estate is made at the purchase price. So my husband was very, very adamant that we were going to have a very small budget when purchasing our first home. We weren't technically out of debt. We were really not buying the house in what they would quote unquote call good time to purchase, but we were both really not wanting to continue to rent a home and throw our money away at rent because the price of rent was going up so high. So we did go ahead and choose to purchase a home, but my husband again wanted to keep a very tight budget. So we actually had a budget set of $50,000. In 2014, that wasn't impossible. Inflation has skyrocketed since then. It wasn't really hard to find houses that were still being sold short sale or they were being sold as is. And when I found this home, I was actually on my way to go see a house down the street that was listed as a short sale for about 19 to $20,000, which was really what my husband was wanting. But on the way passing that, I found this home that was sitting vacant and absolutely fell in love. As soon as I saw this home, I saw immediately the potential that could go in it and what a cute first home that it would be for us. So we prayed about it. We decided to go ahead and make an offer on the home. Even though it was listed at 76,000, we threw in an offer at 50,000. Our real estate agent laughed at us and she said, there's no way that they're gonna accept this offer. But we prayed about it and we figured if it was God's will that it would happen and they accepted. We could not believe it. I remember waking up that day and the real estate agent telling us that they accepted our offer. I was shocked because I really didn't think they were going to accept it either. So the purchase price of our home being so low definitely helped us pay off our mortgage well ahead of time. The second thing that we did to help us pay off our mortgage with our monthly payment being well under 25% of our take home pay, once we actually completed baby steps one through three, we increased the amount that we were paying towards our mortgage by double. We also threw any kind of gifts, birthday presents, bonuses, also towards that in large amounts to be able to pay it off early. The third thing that we did to help us pay off our mortgage early was sacrifice, which you hear everyone on the Dave Ramsey whole YouTube area talk about. We sacrificed on a lot of things. There was a lot of house projects that we didn't do, a lot of things that we got used, our couches are used, our refrigerator was used. Everything was kind of hand-me-downs when we first moved in. We scrimped and saved every bit that we could to pay off our consumer debt to be able to have this bigger shovel. After about maybe the second year of living here, our heat and air conditioner unit went out. Well, that's thousands of dollars, which we didn't have to be able to pay cash for at the time, and we were really dead set on paying off our consumer debt and our mortgage quickly. So we sacrificed. We went to Lowe's, we got an air conditioning unit that does an amazing job and we still use it to this day. So probably for the past five years, we've used an air conditioning unit in our window, in our bedroom and in our living room and that cools our entire house. It's a smaller home, it's about 1500 square foot. But we made that choice without the comfort of going with a heating and air conditioning unit and we also purchased some electrical heaters. My husband also installed a pretty generic uh, propane heater that would technically probably go into a shop in our home to heat us in the winter time, just to get us by with a bare minimum until we were able to pay off our mortgage. We sold one of the cars that I had when we first started the Dave Ramsey system because I was paying $600 a month almost in a car payment because I didn't have the best credit when I purchased that car and it was killing us in payments. So we actually sold that and paid $200 in addition to have them just take the car and be done with it. And that drastically sped up our ability to be able to pay off our mortgage. If we had kept on, held on to that $600 car payment, we would have still been paying not only our consumer debt, but also our mortgage to this day. We both chose to not have car payments. We paid cash for my last car. We also um, paid cash for his truck, saved it up and bought it as we could. And they're nothing extravagant. We paid about $3,500 for each vehicle that we purchased just to get us through. They're nice cars. They get us back and forth to work. They do what they need to do. The fourth thing that I did personally while we were trying to pay off the mortgage was I bought and read the book by Rachel Cruz called Love Your Life, Not Theirs. Love houses. I love 
flipping them. I love looking at them. I love the architecture. I just get so excited. Um, I love being able to do renovations and change colors and really put my spin on things. And so it was really hard not to see people on Facebook and not to see people on Pinterest and just naturally gravitate to wanting to really take the money that we were putting extra to the mortgage and just go ahead and start renovations on the house. So I needed a mind shift personally. I needed to focus on the fact that I could love our home. I could um, love the season of life that we were in as messy as it is with living in the middle of construction and the house being chaotic and half torn up when people come over for dinner. Um, to embrace that and to love the process and the memories that we were making, the hard work that we were doing together, sitting down and having our business meetings together and working through our finances, loving the fact that I had a husband that was willing to sit down with me to do that hard work, um, to work extra long hours while he was in school and still come home and sit down for a business meeting and be intentional with every dollar that we had coming into our home. So I truly think that that mind shift was very imperative for my, from my standpoint as to helping keep me on track and to help us hit that goal. But I'm so, so glad that I took the time to read that book and really take an inward look and realize that I don't have to have what the Smiths have down the road and our home doesn't have to be picture perfect, but it's our home and I can love it in the process. And the fifth thing that we did was work like a banana mill. I took extra patients at that time. I was a home health nurse. And so I took tons of extra patients. I worked on the weekends. I worked after hours. I would pick up bonuses when they would offer them if you would see extra patients. And so any time that we could work extra, work late, work on the weekends, we were doing that. My husband would work very, very long hours and then come home and stay up and work on schoolwork. So we did, excuse you. <laughs> so we pulled together and did all that we could to bring in extra money for each and every mortgage payment that we had. So I wanted to make this video again as a celebration of what we have done, all the hard work for seven and a half years to get where we are today, but also to encourage you guys, you can do this. You can do this. It's not easy to deny yourself of everything in, that everybody in social media says that you deserve. It's not easy to go without things that you see that you want around your home or the nice car that you want to drive, but it is so worth it for the peace that you get when you get to this point when you finally make it. I encourage you to look around to your family and your friends that are encouraging you in this process. Tell them thank you and tell your spouse thank you. Tell them thank you for pulling with you, for digging in the trenches with you, for working those long hours. Maybe they're going without work boots that really need to be replaced and they're gluing the soles of them together like my husband did, especially if you're a stay-at-home mom and he's the one bringing in the income while you are doing the hard work of supporting the family from home, while you're making those small choices throughout the day of the meals that you're making at home and the care that you're providing for your children so that you're not paying all of those costs to be outside of the home, or if you're a working mom, just thank the people that are around you that are encouraging you in the process. I just encourage you to be thankful in the moment that you're in. Be thankful for how far you've come, for the decision that you've made to find financial peace. To celebrate with me and my husband for this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know where you're at in the baby steps and subscribe because I'll be here to encourage you throughout the rest of your journey and also talk to you about maintaining your sanity in this crazy world where social media tries to inundate us with the things that we quote unquote have to have Thank you so much for taking the time to celebrate with me today. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. What are you girls doing? Mom is trying to set up for a video. <laughs> Y'all are so cute. Paisley, are you thinking this is a photography session? I need you to get up. I need you to get up. You can't be right there.
been like nine years. With having that extra wiggle room for making those tough decisions, 